Okay, folks, we're going to continue on with the RG example, but we're going to take this a step further and see if we can get the uh, little FEN20 station, which is running this logic here, to communicate with a uh, Modbus Master or an HMI device. Uh, just to reiterate in this video, if I do the run button here, you can see the code here. It should be running here. So if we count uh, on this one, see if I count up to uh, six. When I hit the six, you'll see here that the output zero is on and to reset the counter I turn on the other input resets it and now I'm ready to count back over again but what I want to do is I really want to take and maybe send this value here from the RG code with the current uh, bottle that's going by to a HMI product for monitoring for instance so I'm going to click the edit button here and within the simple RG environment there's really no way here to send these variables from here out to a PLC or something else uh, through uh, Modbus uh, commands, Modbus registers. So I'm going to do the convert to RG Pro here, and it's going to let you know that you can't go back. Uh, don't worry about this, you can actually start a new project, but taking the simple one, you can't go back to it. So we'll click OK here. And now we're in the RG Pro environment right here. And as you can see here, let me zoom in. There we go. Um, if I zoom, if I roll down here, uh, where's my roller bar? Over here? There it is. You can see the code here and so forth from the screen. This is the RG Pro environment here, showing the exact same logic. But what I'd like to do here is take this count value that's uh, coming out, and anytime it increments it, I'd like to send it out to an HMI to monitor here. So right here where it says uh, add block, uh, I've got a count block, but I'm going to do an assignment here. And we're going to, uh, let me see here, there's all these functions here. Yep. We're going to do an add block assignment, hit add block. And my destination here is going to be a PLC register. So let me hit the control I function here. And I want to go RG to PLC. I want to send something out to an HMI to see. So I'm going to choose RG to PLC word zero. Okay. And then the destination here that I want to do is the current count value. So let's see here if I can get this to control F, counter, and we're going to click here. We're going to show the current count, returns the current count right here. All right. So that should put into the first register going out the value. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and hit run here. Uh, RG, doesn't like that. You know why? I tell it. Uh, sometimes I wonder about me. <laughs> okay, so now I'm uh, <laughs> running here. And uh, if I go over here and expand this register right here, I can see right here that PLC to RG, this register right here. Uh, actually, I'm going the wrong one. I want to go RG to PLC, this guy right here. This should show me. Let me turn on. And there you can see there's my registers 1001 or not number two number three number four five when i hit number six you can see that this is met the output's on if i turn on the other input resets it I'm back to zero and then it starts back over again there it is again i should probably reset that to zero but that's all right but you can see there counts met i reset now this register right here is coming from the uh, RG device and is going out to a PLC. So I'm going to use a red line device here to show you the, how to set that up to talk to this guy. So I'm going to go open up Crimson 3. Uh, I've got a uh, HMI here. I'm going to go ahead and set up my Ethernet port. Choose that. I'm going to download over Ethernet. This is how I like to do it. If I click on Protocol 1, I'm going to choose the Modbus driver here. So we'll go down here to Modbus right here we're going to set up the HMI to be a TCP IP master click OK and then you'll see you get one device under here and this is going to be my FEN20 device so if I click on this guy I'm going to go ahead and rename this guy FEN20 underscore number 15 because that's the last octet of the IP address so right here where it says 100 I'm going to change this to number 15 and then one other very important caveat here team 
is that the ping holding register down here, this is a way that Redline monitors to see if the device is always connected. It's set to 40,001. This is holding register one. Uh, there is no tag within the in the uh, Turk device at that. So I'm going to change that to zero. That'll turn off that option. And then if I go over here to data tags, on the left, go to data tags. I'm going to create just a new tag. I'm going to rename this one uh, CNT1 underscore value. I'm going to map this. Here's the trick. I'm going to map this. I'm going to hit the pull down here. I'm going to map this to the FDN20 holding registers. And then the data coming from the HMI is going to start at 16,385. There it is. I'm going to make it a unsigned integer. This default setting here team actually acts as a signed integer. So I'm making an unsigned integer. Uh, I'll set it up as a read only because this should be feedback from the FEN20. Now I'll go to data tags. I'm going to go ahead and change the background color to white. And then I'll go to the right side and go to data tags on the right side. And I'm just going to grab this tag from here and drag and drop it on the screen like so. I'll make this guy a little bigger like this. And then if I click away, hover over it, click one time, I get the ghosted box. I'll make it bigger. I'll bold it. And then I'm going to give this guy a green border because it's an input. So I'll double click on it, go to the figure tab, and down here for format edge, I'm going to give it some pixel count. And I'll make it green and then I'll click OK. So there should be our current count value. I'm going to turn on the web server so that my application here filming this will show it all. All right, that should do it. All right, let me go ahead and download this to my screen. I'll hit the F9 button, Shazam it. All right, there we have it running. And we go over here. Uh, this code right here is currently running. I'm going to go to remote monitoring. You can see it says six. I'll let me go over here. Reset our counter. Our counter is reset. Go back to this guy. And now if you watch, when I turn on my inputs, notice it's showing the current count value number four right here, which is the same value right here that it's getting from this run of logic. It's getting that from that particular run. And that is holding register 16,385 right there. So as you watch, I'll count up to number six. The output has now been met. Conditions on. And of course, to reset it, I turn off, turn on the other input, starts all over, and I can start to count right back up and down. So that's a quick video just showing how you can use the RG to PLC to send data out to a particular register uh, within the uh, Modbus TCP command or Modbus TCP devices uh, from RG to a uh, Redline or whatever Modbus master you're using. So uh, that's a quick little video of that. I'll add some more here in a little bit. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.